It was a Lionel Messi who stole the show. It's his hat trick that guaranteed Argentina a place in Russia. Mr. Shaka Hislop, yeah. so many times we've had this discussion on mm -hmm. this couch. Mm -hmm. Lionel Messi will never be regarded as the greatest ever player, in your opinion, because he's never done it at a World Cup. No. The only reason Argentina are going to be at the World Cup next year is because of Lionel Messi. Does yeah. this make any difference? No, it doesn't. Process. Because I, I stand by what I've always said. He has to do this on the World Cup stage. And he's not done this at the World Cup stage. Now, don't get me wrong. As a performance, this was as standout as I've seen from any, gener any player of this generation. And I don't think there's anybody else who, who could have done this. But at the end of the day, who's against Ecuador? A team that finished eighth in Commonwealth qualifying. A team that's ranked 35th in the world. As good a performance as it was, he has to do this on what I might consider, in my opinion, the highest stage of world football. Chuck, how important a game do you, does it need to be for you? I mean, the World Cup. Had, had, that, had Messi not carried this team and scored three goals and got them in the World Cup, mm -hmm. it would have been an absolute catastrophe that yep. Argentina, with the quality they have, don't get there. So, you know, you, you keep saying about, well, he has to win a World Cup final. I mean, how big is this? I, actually just get I, there. I, 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 I stepped back from that, of that comment of winning a World Cup final and, and settled on, re reproduced that type of performance at the World Cup level, which we have not seen. We have not seen Messi play like this at the World Cup. We haven't. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, Ali. If you ask Argentinians who is the best player to have ever played the game, mm. would they see Lionel Messi? What is Ali's not Argentinian? <laughs> no, man, no, I'm I'm gonna, he's our common ball expert. Right. Yeah, Ali's our common right. ball expert. Now, I found that out last week. That, no, that's that's more of a uh, social question okay. because Maradona is considered to be a man of the people, whereas Lionel Messi tends to be a little bit more corporate, if you will. So the answer is no. The answer is Diego Maradona. But what does that have to do with anything? I, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, I don't understand this. Dying need, it seems, to have Lionel Messi anointed as the, as the best who's ever played when there's quite clearly a huge section of football people, Argentinians, who think otherwise. And why we find the need to when just... Did you, when did you take a poll with these Argentinians, by the way? <laughs> it was a huge sex. What are you talking <laughs> about? It's a shot. Argentina's got a small part of the world. It doesn't okay, I'm, 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 not, I'm not saying no. I'm not saying no to that. I just don't understand why it is we have to anoint Lionel Messi, Lionel Messi as the best in the world. I, I, I don't. When people who watch Argentina football day in, day out, think differently. What I would say, Shaq, and I, and I think perhaps this would give more validity to your, to your argument, is that in any uh, sport, whatever event you want to talk about, whether it's team or individual sports, in order to be considered the greatest ever in that sport, it feels like you have to win the biggest prize in whatever that sport is. Mm. In our sport, the biggest prize is, and maybe we can argue this back and forth, is the World Cup. And so from that, uh, from that point of view, I tend to side with Shaka. The problem is, is that you see performance after performance after performance, and I can be persuaded. Yeah. I can have the conversation and I can say, man, I tell you what, every time I see this guy play, he gets closer to that sort of level. Now, I played against the men. I played against Lionel Messi. And even having played against Lionel Messi, I would suggest that at their very best, at the top of their conditions, at, at, at their highest potential, I would take Brazilian Ronaldo over Lionel but Messi. But this is where consistency comes yes, into the argument. that is well, correct. A decade. No, Mes no, I know. Messi for a decade. Not, not just pulling out somebody's performance at a particular World Cup that makes them the best. For a decade, his level of performance has never been matched. Never been Wait, matched. you can't say that. And, and, and here's the... I've just said it. Okay, okay well, <laughs> you, Pelly, you, did just you, you can't say that and, and, and try to get... And just Pelly played in, think nobody's Pelly going, nobody's going to pick you up on it. Pelly no, played okay. in Brazil. Right. Maradona was at Barcelona for how long? What, two, three seasons? Did absolutely What, what did you say about Pelé in Brazil? What did you say about Pelé in Brazil? What was your comment there? What, how good was the Brazilian league back then? We, we saw Pelé every four Pelé years. Pelé won three World Cups. We saw him every four years. I don't, think we, I don't think we achieve anything by taking merits away from guys like Pelé and Maradona in order to make the argument for Lionel Messi. Those guys achieve tremendous things and, and, and in the, in the world stage. You're trying to, you're trying, wait, hold on. You're trying to compare players from different eras. And, they, and 
What are we going to see? Well, Pele didn't do it in Champions no. League. There was no Champions no, League. Not. No, I'm not. Let me, I'll tell you why, Shaka, because, listen, as far as I'm concerned, you can only be as good as you are at the time, whether it's the 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. but, so then this is a silly but, argument. No, it's not. No. What separates Messi, for me, is the fact that for 10 years in the trot, at the highest level, he has been so consistently incredible. That's what I think separates him from the others. He has, of course, been integral for, for Argentina throughout their campaign. If you look at the statistics with regards to how important he's been, look at that. Without him, they won one out of eight. With him, of course, they did enough to make it to uh, the World Cup. Should we bring Gav Marcotti? Yeah, why not? Why not? Hey. Uh, Gav, what do you think about the book? Whose side are you taking here? Uh, I'm sorry, I kind of feel the need to be a little bit rational. I respect Shaka's argument, but World Cups, uh, you're talking about one month every four years. There's 101 contingencies that, that can come into it. Maybe you just happen not to be at your best that month. Maybe, maybe you're unlucky. Maybe your teammates screw up for you. Maybe you run into a better team. There's, there's a million things that can happen. To go and judge uh, the entirety of somebody's career over, oh, over two months, uh, it, to me, just makes no sense whatsoever. I, I, don't, sure, I, don't sure think, I, I don't think you're judging someone's career just based on that month. I think it's a tiebreaker. I think oh. it's, 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 it's what you use to compare players of certain eras. It's difficult to do as it is. It's subjective okay. as it is. So maybe it's, it's just a tiebreaker to say, okay, they've all achieved these things. Well, and this puts somebody else and, and, over the top. And, and here's the thing. The players that we're talking about, again, you, how are we supposed to compare Pele's body of work mm. for 12 months a year when there was no Champions League when he was playing, when he was at his best and, and at his prime? How are we supposed to compare the Champions League of today to that of Maradona? When the, the, at the day of Diego Maradona, it was just the top, the top club finishers went into the Champions League. It's an unfair comparison when you're comparing players over different eras so you have to go to a tiebreaker now you talk about doing it over over the yeah, course of over the course 12 years uh, Pele won World Cups in, in 58 62 and 70 I mean that's 10 years okay well apparently yeah, okay, he only played for two team, months apparently he only played for two months every four years that takes well, some Shaka time. Shaka if you want to if, if, I mean, if you want to go there on, on, on Pele, I could tell you that uh, in 1962, he got injured for most of the... He was injured and didn't play for most of that World Cup. And that in 1970, Brazil were so good that, you know, you could have played out of position as a center forward mm. as a two-year-old, or however old you were back in 1970, and they would have won the World Cup. How, so, how good were they in 66? Uh, you know, how good were they in 66? They, he didn't win the World Cup in 66. They got knocked out in the group right? stages. So, uh, when Pele was injured and missed the entire exactly. World Cup. So well, I, I don't understand the point you're making, Gav. Exactly. I don't understand the point you're making. Well, the, 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 the point I'm making is it's a heck of a lot easier for Pele to win the World Cup with Brazil, uh, for example, than it is for, for Cristiano Ronaldo to win it with Portugal. I, I, I just don't understand why this has to be the tiebreaker as opposed to perhaps what we see with our eyes. We have video of all these people. You know, we, we, we can see them play. We can see how they move. We can see how people defend against them or don't defend against them. We have information uh, about who they played with. Messi's been dominant at club level in a, in, in a world football that is as polarized uh, as it has ever been. I mean, Messi's teammates with Barcelona are far, far greater than anybody Maradona or taken as a team as they didn't, than anybody Maradona or, or Pelé ever played with. We can take that into account. You know, there's 101 ways to do it, and simply to say, oh, well, he didn't win the World Cup, he can't be the best ever, I, just simply to me, so, makes, so makes your, zero your point sense is, your point is that so Messi, arbitrary. Your point is that Messi has a better supporting cast than Maradona or Pelé? Well, at club level, no question about it. But, but by a million miles. Then I, I don't know where I, to go. There were limits on <laughs> okay. foreigners back then. I, I really don't know where to go. What? With no, let, <laughs> let's, let's move it on slightly and, and bring it back to the fact that Argentina have qualified for the World yeah. Cup. I suppose inevitably we're going to have a lot of talk over the next year about how far they can go. Does the fact that Messi has done, has done what, he, what did what he did last night, mm. is he playing a little bit with house money now? Is the pressure off a little bit in the sense that... People who would have criticised him before mm. for not turning up at a World Cup or not putting in the performances that he does for Barcelona, 
now really can't go to that because, well, hey, wait a minute, did you not just see what I did? Yeah, and, and initially the point by Shaka asking about whether who was more beloved in Argentina, uh, Maradona or Messi, that sort of performance by Lionel Messi last night, away from home in Ecuador, in a moment where you needed the most, that's the sort of performance that now people are coming in and this is our savior. In Messi we trust. This is our guy. This is our man. He's now Argentina. We don't know what he was before, but now he's Argentinian. And so the truth is, is that Lionel Messi is in a position where all these things that we have seen, I don't know how much value they have once we get to Russia. Because they'll get into the knockout stage in Russia, and it'll be up to Lionel Messi. Right. It won't be up to Higuain. It won't be up to Aguero. It won't be up to Icardi or Benedetto or Bigli or this guy. Well, the guy that they will look to will be Lionel Messi. Well, and if he delivers once again, there's no question as to who the greatest is.